Hey everybody, Corey from My Two Cents back to bring you a case opening and a little bit of a review uh, for Droid Turbo 2. This is a Simo case and you can see that it's definitely a blue case in there. So a pretty basic packaging on this, just a, a kind of a zip bag. So we'll go ahead and just crack this open and take a quick look at it. Now I've had a couple of these cases so far and they've turned out to be pretty decent. Um, I like the fact that this one's fairly translucent, but it is the TPU slim style case, so this is going to cost you a ton of money. Uh, they're usually pretty affordable and offer you a decent level of protection. Uh, one thing that I don't like about the case, though, is that it has a uh, power button, volume up and down buttons. I'd rather have access to the real buttons, but hey, you can't get everything you want all of the time. So with pretty solid cutouts, I like the fact they have a cutout for the uh, Droid logo on it. We're going to go ahead and pop this in here and see how it fits. These have normally been really well-fitting uh, cases, but normally I've had them for smaller phones. So uh, this one's a little bit loose on the side, and that happens when you have a larger phone. It's hard to keep the plastic as rigid, rigid uh, when the phone's a little bit bigger when using this kind of slim style case. So good droid cutout logo. So it looks like you have the microphone on the bottom and the top here on the back. Uh, cutouts for that. The power button, volume button, uh, which actually do retain pretty decent amount of uh, kind of the clickiness of it. So, whoops, I turned to my uh, logger in here real quick. Let me just power that off. Perfect. So, uh, get access to the dimple on the back and uh, access to the SIM card slot up here at the top, which you don't see on a ton of phones. Good cutout for the 3.5mm headphone jack. Nice wide cutout for the charger as well, so no uh, problems with that there. And uh, you do have edge protection all the way around uh, with this, so putting it face down on top of something like this piece of rock here, uh, you don't have any problems with it. And it does fit a uh, screen protector cutout. This one actually has a film on it, but it should fit a ballistic glass uh, pretty easy as well. Uh, so it does feel a little funny uh, putting your finger on the dimple back here with the case on the back, but it does offer uh, camera protection when you set the phone down also. Oh no, I, I like these uh, cases. I think they're uh, really inexpensive, but give you the drop protection. Well, some drop protection and definitely scratch and scuff protection. So, you want this? I'll throw the link down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.